That's not good. It's not good. It's not good. We have to rest here, unfortunately. We're going in at less than half health versus the boss fight. That is unfortunate. Let's hope we get a good relic out of it. Hope we survive it. Mm, can be a really nasty fight. This is a terrible draw right now. That's good, at least. Okay. Get a Vone on it. Get some armor out of it. I think he's going to get his 28 damage off of me. So I can't stop this. It's not going to put him down to 70. Do I want to greed the feed? I think I do. Alright. don't want to put him down to 70 this round. Question is, do I want to keep ghostly armor or not? I think I don't. I can wait. Problem with this hand is it only has 15 damage. So he's going to split. I'm still going to have my card reduction. And I don't get a whole lot of value out of this, right? But I have to be able to kill him. I definitely could split next time. I'm only going to do 15 damage. I think it's better just to wait here. Nice. All right. Nice to stop that weekend. Not quite enough damage. Braille's pretty bad too, I guess. Can stop his split by just attacking him. What's the most damage we get out of that? Get 18 out of this. Actually, this is more damage. So it's... What is this? 6, so it's 12, it's 19. There's a bash. 9, but I keep the bone on him. He's gonna split though, and I don't think the bone stays. Attacking this round? Of course they are.
There's no particularly good play here. I can kill this guy, which is what I'm going to have to do, but it sets myself up to be pretty screwed by that guy next round. I'd love to get a bone on this guy to set up to kill him, but I don't think I can. Because I don't think uh, if I do that, I can't... Oh, that's not true. If I bone this guy, I can take a little bit of damage here. I would take six damage, though. I, I think it's just better to kill him. Okay, a little bit close. Oh, he's doing another stupid turn. That's fantastic. Thirteen this round. Can maybe force the split here. Yeah. Okay, good. Ghostly Armor's gone out of the deck. We discarded it earlier. Don't both be attacking, please. Okay, that's fine. Alright, good, good. A little bit closer than we'd like. Our deck is not very good, though. And the thing with the problem with Iron Waves is they don't scale for, all, scale for shit. We did get our feed here, our feed out of that. Add a card to our deck. I'm not playing this card again. I just played that card. Um, although this has really good synergy with um, really good synergy with Iron Waves. Build it up for the turns that we don't have enough. Makes a lot of sense. Every, every deck ends up a barricade deck, though. Last game, we I feel kind of bad about it last play, because last playthrough we did, we weren't forced to do it. This deck feels weak enough to me that I feel like I need to pick that up. I don't know if we can for the lows that we're barely surviving right now. We don't get a full heal out of this, either. Oh, nice. We have the Curse Blocker and the Curse Key again. That's strong. Okay. What are we up to health-wise? 69. Okay. It's a Merchant here. That would be good. I'd like a Fireplace for upgrades, too. So this is... really do with a couple more relics. I don't know if I want to fight bosses for him or not. Fight this one boss. And then juke left. Gives me two merchants. And then I can still have decisions about what I want up there. Alright, I think I want to come up this way. There's one, two, and a fight, a question mark. Okay. All right, let's go here. That needs to be upgraded to be playable, really. Two is quite a lot. Can 
get our vote on him next round or next time we draw it. But not our weakness, unfortunately. Take a little bit of damage. Oh, I have more mana. Right, because I have four mana. Did that change anything? I don't think so. Still played my only armor card. Okay. Yep, I am skipping my, my four mana again. Oh, I do that every time. Alright, what do we have here? 22 damage. Betty keeps applying frail to me. Yeah. All right, let's hope for a feed soon. So I don't know if I can take another big hit from him. 22. Just 12 block. It's not enough. Just drew feet at a really shitty time, too. Hmm. Greeting this feet. I think I should just fed there. Just to do the damage. Greeting too hard. We're going to take more damage than we need. Alright, this is better for us. Finally, we're no longer fucking frail, too. Okay. I've got to kill him, I think. Yeah, the only way I can reduce damage, I can boost 16 of it, damn. Greeting that frail way too hard, or that uh, feed way too hard. Should have just done it earlier. Uh, these cards suck. Although burning packed, I don't think so. Actually, burning pack might be okay. Let's take that. Or let me exhaust um. That terrible skill card. Don't really want this fight. Can block all their damage, I guess. Okay. You're not welcome to take my gold, guys. I need that. I kill with four mana. This is eight. This will do like 13. This will do like 10. That's 23. It's 31. And then explosive potion? Yeah, I can. Alright. Take three from that, unfortunately. Okay. These raw defends are not helping us much. Truger in there, and a metallicize. Both would be very interesting right now. Upgraded Truger would be a thing, but we already have two cards I want to upgrade. Maybe three. I don't think we're going to have enough camping for that. I think it's probably better to metallicize here. Alright, question mark into a merchant. Seems good.
It's a double merchant. Wow. Okay. In a row. If I buy cards, I can't double remove, and I would like to double remove. Although, I'll take a look. 15 on camping. Can't afford these. None of these cards make much sense. Oh, that's a cool one. Okay. All right, dump a shit strike. All right, next merchant. Can't afford any of these. Never seen that, that's cool. Got a metallicize at 40. Too bad I can't take both of those. Apotheosis, Apoth oh my God. Apotheosis rather. Which is quite good. That would be so nice. Like, don't have the fucking money because it wasn't here on the first merchant. I would have purchased that, I think, if, uh, with the first merchant. Ah, that would have been a nice one. It would have been so good for this deck. We need upgrades. These cards are really weak right now. Get a second Metallicize. Would be pretty solid. But no card removal if I do that. I think that's what we're going to take. I'm worried about my long-term survivability with this deck. So having things like this would be really solid. Not taking advantage of card removal feels bad, though. All right. We can skip bosses or we can go through bosses. Health is not great. These are two bosses. My deck is shit. Don't think I want to fight them. I don't have damage. Although, it's an interesting question. Maybe. Depends how much damage. What if we fight? I mean, what are the tier two bosses? So the the knife, the uh, pack of three slavers. I think all of those do a shit ton of damage. If we can get two fires with or without the boss, it makes no difference. I mean, we're at enough health, we'll probably survive it, but we're going to take a bunch of damage. Is it worth risking that for a random relic? A random relic would be very helpful. But it could just be junk. Guys, the two camps come either way. There's a camp, camp, or camp, camp. It's identical. You don't. We don't gain a camp by going to the right. We do, we gain a question mark by going to the right. We trade off a regular fight for a question mark, which is actually maybe not even that good for us because if we have a regular fight that's easy, we can heal off of it. Risk it is more fun. No, we're doing ascension right now. The goal is to get to ascension ten, which means we can't probably be risking lots of things. I just don't know if it, it, it's. You know, it's, it's not a simple question. It's not like take the riskier or not. It's the, the unknown payoff for a riskier route is the the thing. Common relics two-thirds of the time garbage. I don't know if that's true. Every relic here is decent right now for us. Maybe maybe accepting that one. No, that's even going to be decent for us. We will get one more upgrade before we fight the boss if we go that route. We get a chance at more removal. What would we be upgrading? Talicizes, maybe? Burning pack, barricades, we can play it. All of those would be good. Okay. Just all the fights we're gonna take are gonna suck. There is still another boss later, but we could just have, we might avoid that last boss. Let's, let's go for the one. I think I want one more shot at another relic when we get here.
That sucks. Gain 5 max HP or get a curse. I'll block the curse, but I want the blocks for the regular stuff. I forget that some events can be just wholly negative. Ah, uh, I don't think I can trade 20 fucking max HP right now. Lose HP, then camp, then upgrade? Maybe. Okay. How much do I heal for? 28. Or we could risk it. 51 versus the boss. Maybe camp after. Make the boss fight easier. What is this upgrade to? 13. It's not very good. This upgrades to 2. It's a lot more playable. Our armor is not very good right now. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. Triple slaver, super high damage. dead if they keep doing this? Probably. Six block, 12. We're gonna take 16 or take 17 this round. God, this fucking sucks. Okay. My desk just dead. So an iron wave is nine or eight rather. That's fourteen. Dude, fuck that bone, man. I gotta start going for this guy first, I think. So I remove almost nothing there. So this is gonna be thirty one. I think I'm just dead. So what did we say it was? It was fourteen. No, it's 32. Okay. Assuming I can kill him, which I assumed I could. I'm assuming I did my math right. If I didn't, I'm dead anyway, so. 35. Okay. Feels good, feels good. here and I can't play I'm dead oh no, I got 18 banked up dude what a shitty set of cards to draw here uppercut which is a card I need for my damage and iron wave which is a card that plays me oh, dude, this is so bad what I was hoping to draw was second win this turn
You always kill the third first. I'm in the habit of killing the first first, but I think I'm going to have to change it to killing the third first because he's much more dangerous. That bone is super dangerous too. Come on, dude. I just burnt out four fucking wounds and I just drew four more out of this deck. I'm just dead, right? So this is six is 26. 26 and eight is 34. They're doing 31. Oh, I guess I'm not dead yet. Okay. He's going on too long though. Can't kill him again. All right. Why are we not dying? We're not dying because of metallicized. That's why we're not dying. And blockade to get us through the rough patches. Alright, that was super painful. I thought we were dead at least twice. Was it worth the happy flower? I don't know, guys. Two wounds, 20 block. It's also all non-attack cards in your hand, deal 20 damage. I'm gonna take power through here. Alright, let's rest. Didn't gain anywhere near enough HP out of that. Okay, we're headed left. Get a curse that gets blocked. Upgrade a power. Okay. It's kind of weak, honestly. Frozen egg and Juzu bracelet. Alright, let's get to the merchant. Let's get rid of... Is that a... Both of these would be very powerful for us. Upgraded armaments, though. Sail and shrug it off. Uh, I don't have enough for both of these, though. Don't have enough for any of these. Um, okay. Let's take a look at the deck. I'm pretty sure I need to get rid of some more junk. Like Bash. Although Bash is alright with four right now. Another shitty strike to get rid of. A defend. I keep waiting for second wind to clear the defense out of my deck, but then it never ever combos with it ever. So, I don't know. These are very weak right now. Really tempted to get rid of another upgra unupgraded strike. I think I'm going to. Okay. Can't afford anything else. All right, camp or an upgrade. Get two either way. This has a question mark, that has a question mark. They're identical. Okay. All right, I'm thinking metallic.